You ever seen those scenarios in sports where you like, man, it just makes too much sense for that player to go to that team. Man, it's just it's a layup. If I ever seen one, this is the perfect alley for this team to sign this player. Well, this is no different than that. And this has to deal with our Baltimore Ravens. Last word on sports. They echoed a lot of our sentiments when it comes to the Baltimore Ravens, especially them at the safety position, because they're clearly looking for somebody. They clearly want to add somebody, and they have some options, and they even brought in some options, and they could possibly bring in another option. But the Baltimore Ravens are clearly looking to upgrade a position that's pretty strong, but they're looking to make it even stronger because of how they run the show at safety. But let's look at this article. It says Ravens could fix a major weakness with a top free agent. And this came from Last Word on Sports. It says the Baltimore Ravens are reportedly looking for additional safety help. And Justin Simmons could be a perfect fit for the team. Now, again, it's crazy. I take you back to the start of free agency when he first got cut. I was shocked. I couldn't believe it. And, and I just dreamed, dreamed of the scenario where Justin Simmons could be a Baltimore Raven because that man can play some football. But I just knew that it wasn't going to happen. I knew he wasn't going to get signed by them. I just knew he would be off the board, uh, off the free agent board like that. But it's been a lot of those, and he's still there. He's still available. But why? For what? What's the reason? And can Baltimore Ravens make it happen? Well, let's look at this article. It says Baltimore Ravens are in the market for a free agent safety, and Justin Simmons is the best one available. I'm already, I was already sold before. When he first got cut, I was already sold. But you just making me get sold even more. It, continuing, it says, originally released in a cost-cutting move, the two-time Pro Bowler has yet to land with a new organization, which I'm surprised by. I still don't know why. Don't know. Let's continue. It says, this isn't due to lack of talent on Simmons' part. Obviously, definitely a talented player can play, one of the most productive safeties over the past couple of years. So what's the reasoning? It says, um, as the former third-round pick remains one of the best safeties in the game. Starting in 15 games last year, the veteran finished the season with three interceptions, eight passes defended, two forced fumbles, one sack, 70 tackles, and two tackles for a loss. So, again, we know that it ain't based off of his play while he ain't getting no job because even just last year, he was very productive at the safety position. So what, what is the, the reason? Well, it says Justin Simmons is looking for the perfect fit from both a scheme and financial standpoint, and the Baltimore Ravens might be the ideal landing spot. So, Justin Simmons looking for the perfect fit. Hey, that's Baltimore Ravens all day. Now with the money, I mean, hey, now who are you going to get much money from now anyway? We done passed the first and second wave of free agency. We done got through the draft. It's, it's getting ready to be June. Uh, who are you going to get bread from like that anyway? But anyway, continuing. Um, it says the team already has two above, above average starters in Kyle Hamilton and Marcus Williams, but they should find a proper replacement for Geno Stone. Baltimore runs more three safety looks than anyone else, and recent reports indicate that the Ravens are actively looking for a third safety. They certainly are, and we can tell from the most recent visit that they had with Jamal Adams. But you see, that paragraph, it talked about Justin Simmons is looking for the perfect fit from both a scheme and financial standpoint. Uh, we get what the financial part means, but when you think about the perfect fit scheme-wise, you can look at a lot of other teams around the league, and you can see where Justin Simmons could possibly fit in with those teams. But with the Baltimore Ravens, it'll be a lot different because Justin Simmons on a lot of other teams, he should be a starter, but based off of how a lot of teams are running their shows right now, he may be a backup. A lot of teams run only two safety looks at a time. And that's normal. That's regular. But see, the Baltimore Ravens do things differently. And with Justin Simmons, already wanted him on the team. But with him, the way that it would be a perfect fit scheme-wise is because he would be on the field a lot. He'd pretty much be a starter. We saw it. Like, the Baltimore Ravens, they have three safeties on the field. Now, with Kyle Hamilton, he plays a safety role. He may be in the box. He may be pass rusher. He'd be playing slot corner. He'd be doing a little bit of everything. But they have three safeties on the field so much. So, Justin Simmons, there would not be a lack of playing time if the Baltimore Ravens were to add him to the mix. That's why it is the perfect fit if he were to come to the Baltimore Ravens. But let's continue. It says... The report, this report isn't surprising as Baltimore recently brought in Jamal Adams for a free agent visit. 
Right now, here's when it gets a little. Woo. It says while the former six overall pick, I didn't realize Jamal Adams was a six overall pick. Anyway, while the former six overall pick was one of the best in the game at his peak, the former Seattle Seahawk dropped off dramatically in recent years. If signed, he'd only be a backup to Kyle Hamilton. So basically saying like, hey, if they brought in Jamal Adams, cool, but would he really start in that third safety position? I think he actually would. Um, and while he would be a could be a backup to Kyle Hamilton, I think he'd be out there on the field a lot. But again, I, I just don't think that Jamal Adams is the best fit for the Baltimore Ravens. They they could make it work, but I don't think it's the best fit, in my opinion. So and y'all y'all know a lot more than me, so y'all let me know if y'all think Jamal Adams would be a good fit for what Baltimore likes to do, or if Justin Simmons would be an even better one. Or hey, some of y'all might not even like Justin Simmons as a fit. Y'all let me know that too. Hey, how y'all feeling about Ravens at the safety position? But anyway, continuing. It says, uh, Justin Simmons makes far more sense for the Ravens as he has more in his tank and is more of a natural fit for the Geno Stone role. You ain't going to get no arguments out of me on that. Like, zero at all. Uh, it says, of course, the Ravens might not have the money to sign Justin Simmons. As of this posting, the team has just 5.7 mil in cap space and had to watch several key free agents depart in the offseason due to the lack of spending money. If Baltimore can't afford a two-time pro bowler, one of these other five teams could make a move. I don't care about none of them other five teams. I don't want to hear nothing about that. I don't want to hear nothing about that when it comes to our guy, Justin Simmons. And hopefully he can officially become our guy if he joins the Baltimore Ravens. Now that last part, when I talk about cap space, when I talk about the cap room, the salary. Um, yeah, while they may only have $5.7 million cap space now, okay, cool. There's ways to make more. There's ways to make more money appear out of nowhere if you really want to and if you really need to. With Justin Simmons, um, what I talked about with Jamal Adams, what we see in business a lot, um, if you are the only option, then you can take advantage of a company. Say, for instance, you go on a job interview and you are the only candidate that they bring in and you fit everything that they want you to, to do. You fit their needs. You fit the needs of the company and whatnot. And they want to pay you X amount of dollars. You say, no, 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 I want this amount of dollars. And it's higher than what they were originally willing to give you. So since you're the only candidate and they really need you, you fit the description, you, you, you fit everything that they need, you can demand more money. It'll be easier for you to demand more money. Now, say, for instance, with Justin Simmons, if, if the Ravens were interested in Justin Simmons, you say, hey, Justin, we want to bring you in. We love what you do. We want to pay you this amount of dollars. And Justin Simmons is like, no, I want this much. But then they're like, oh, okay. We don't want to pay that much. He's like, okay, don't talk to me then. So to put pressure on him, they could have been like, all right, Jamal Adams, come in for a visit. We want to, we want to see what, you, what you're looking like, what you're working with, whatnot. We, we want to see how, what kind of shape you're in. But they could be doing that to put more pressure on Justin Simmons to let him know, like, hey, you are not the only option. You are not the end-all, be-all. Sometimes it works. Sometimes it doesn't. But in this case, hopefully... That's what they're doing. And hopefully that could make Justin Simmons sort of come down on his price a bit. If, if that's even what's going on. If that's even what's going on. Not to say he should take this cheap deal or anything like that. But the way the Baltimore Ravens could be looking at it like, hey, like, look, this, this is not March. This is not April. This is barely still May. May is holding on for a couple more days. And that's it. Like, you ain't made no moves. You ain't signed with no team yet. What's your market looking like? What's going on? You're supposed to be one of the base, best safeties in the league, but you ain't even signed yet. What's up with that? So they could throw that in his face and be like, hey, like, why not? We right there. You be on the field a lot, Justin. You, you be out there plenty. You would pretty much, you be a starter because you're going to be on the field so much. So you can still show the league that you got it because we know you still got it. Come show you got it with the Baltimore Ravens team keep it clean I know y'all got it and I know that y'all subscribe to the channel as y'all have been doing which I appreciate make sure you turn your notifications on so you do not miss not a single video not a single update and also leave a like on the video because it helps out the channel a ton I love y'all I appreciate y'all so much Justin Simmons come on home my friend